Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here, and today I have a review video on the Shut DS Flex Youth Shoulder Pads. So I've had these for a few years now. I picked them up when I was coaching uh, youth football, and when I picked these up, I really wanted to uh, try out the DS Flexes, see how they how different they were from the Shut Y Flex series of pads. They're not a whole lot different as far as uh, how they're. I mean, basically what they look like. The only thing that's really different is just the texture that um, is, is used on the pads. It's kind of a grittier, tougher, like, it, I'm not saying it's tougher or more durable by any means because I think it'd take more time to, you know, figure that out. But it's just like, you have to really see it up close. I'll include some um, close-up shots of the texture. It's really neat. Um, here's what it looks like on the back. These kind of have like a like a dark gray uh, with the hard shelling of the shoulder pads and then the mesh uh, padding that's on the pads is black on the outside like there and a neon green on the inside. Uh, these are a size extra large, a youth extra large. Um, so these would be any players uh, definitely probably for you know uh, from ages, anywhere from ages uh, 10 to 13 is probably going to use this as long as you fit in this size requirement of 15 to 16 uh, But just make sure to measure yourself if you do go buy these make sure you get the right uh, make sure you get the right pair uh, these do have the option for uh, back plate and uh, rib protector attachments uh, It does kind of overlap, but what's nice about the this set of pads and the the Y flexes is they give you additional uh, protection down here uh, they kind of give you sort of a, a mesh back flap if you want to say that but if you want the harder one um, you can put them on the the outsides because it you can put them here but they just it just doesn't seem to work as well so when I attach this here in a minute I'll just kind of show you how it looks uh, with it attached I don't have a uh, rib protector for this. I mean, I do. Uh, I just wanted the one that matched it uh, with that. So, uh, but they do make the rib protector and the back plate all in. They have them all in different colors, but they do have one that matches this neon green. If you're into that. Um, but otherwise, these have held up over two years very well. Um, you can see just a little bit uh, of use right here, but that's you know that's just from standard use from the player uh, buckling these. They do have a T-hook buckle, so there's the T-hook and then the uh, bungee strap here. Uh, the straps are um, the straps aren't as adjustable uh, as they used to be. These are kind of locked in. It's really hard to adjust these, uh, and they're kind of sewn in. So these, all you have to basically do if you need to extend these is just to extend this out further. And this person did not. Uh, attach this right because otherwise this is just going to slip up on you as you use it um, but otherwise this is a good starter set of pads these run anywhere uh, from $45 to $60 I believe these retailed for $59.99 when I picked them up uh, the back plate is usually uh, $15 to $20 rib plate or the, uh, the rib belt I should say is about $25 to $35 uh, if you needed uh, any of that uh, but yeah, it's a good set of pads. Uh, I really, I thought they, I, I really enjoy the shut youth uh, pads. I think they're a really good affordable set for anybody that's uh, kind of on a budget. I think they're good budget youth shoulder pads. So I'm going to show you how to attach that back plate uh, and just kind of show you what it looks like. So when you go to attach the back plate, it does have two perforated holes on either side of the shoulder pads. So you could use uh, a lot of different if you didn't want to if you didn't want to use a shut back plate like these aren't that great because I mean they don't have any stitching right here so that is what kind of one downfall of these is I really feel like there should be something right here because to me that doesn't really give you a whole lot of protection I would go something with like a Douglas back plate or a um, a battle those are gonna be if you want that I would go ahead and get those as well this is I mean this one matches but you're probably gonna get better if you really need a back plate I would just get one from battle or get a Douglas one um, we'll go ahead and show you there is one thing I want to mention on here um, when these 
when you get these out of the package, you'll see they have these little black, um, these little pegs. I don't know really what to call them, but they're on a lot of back plates nowadays and they're attached to the package. And they're really hard to get off. Um, but what I'm gonna try to do is take needle nose pliers here and just try to get around this edge here and just pull. See if I can pop this off. I got it. <laughs> so that's how you do that. So now you've got an extra hole. If you do need to adjust it up higher, um, you can do that. But you take it, grip it here, and then I would just twist one way. That one didn't want to go. Try again. And there we go. We got them, got them out. So let's attach the back plate now. go all right so the back plate is attached uh, like I did say for this back plate you'll want to kind of expand these straps out here so they go to the farthest um, perforated hole there uh, but as you can see the back plate gives you just a little bit more extension probably no more than two to three inches but otherwise it's still a good fit I mean, it works works well. Uh, you know, just be aware that you may have just a little bit of overlap there, but really, it fits pretty flat down there, so it's not really protruding real bad. But otherwise, it's a good little setup. Um, so overall, these pads, like I said, these are a real good starter set. Um, so that's just kind of what uh, I really like about them. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, there will be more youth football gear kind of coming out as we go. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, one. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Like I said, like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.